all of a sudden I just got really out of breath and just weak and out of breath. That's never happened to me before. Even I don't think that ever happened to me. And I just got, I remember I, I just got so, how would you say it? Um, I just felt like I was going to pass out at, at one point because I was so out of breath. And then I had to sit, I had to lay down and I Hi everybody. Hey everybody. Several people have asked us to question and I wanted to address that. So we're going to address that now. So, hi Seymour. Seymour's here with us. Let's, oh, no, okay. So, several people have asked us a question and I wanted to address that question because several people have asked. And basically what people have been asking is if we had if we had the virus when we were sick back in January and at first we did not think we we just thought it was a regular flu and yeah. you know we because of the timeline and everything we totally didn't think it was but the one strange thing about that when we were sick that flu that we had was um we had a lingering cough for a long time afterwards, right. quite a while. Right, and it went on for a while, like you said. And so, since then, a lot of data has come out that basically they think it was in Southern California way, right. way before, like possibly in December or January. And we got sick in January, probably mid about mid January mm -hmm. and what happened was we were in Yuma before we got sick we were in Yuma for a couple of weeks and we had gone to some restaurants and stuff when we were there and then we went to the party hour afterwards and it was during the party hour mm -hmm. actually that we were sick in a court site right. and we were sick for about a week and right we barely even came out at the party hour I don't think anybody saw us I think I would just come out to turn on the generator and do that that sort of thing but it, it, we were pretty sick there yeah and so uh, basically what we had is we were we had mostly a fever and I had a high my fever had actually gotten up to 103 while we were sick and mm. I was sick first and then Sal got it and we had a fever and a cough a cough really a bad cough and that was the worst of it i think because my my ribs actually had hurt from coughing yeah. so much yeah and so basically we will link the video at the end of this video so you can see what it was like one of the, one of the, one thing that's unique is the fact that we actually recorded <laughs> we recorded ourselves while we were uh well, we had it, so mm -hmm. <laughs> not knowing that we had it. So we actually have the proof. <laughs> yeah. Well, we have a you know the experience of it, so I think that's kind of interesting. Yeah. But it was funny because after we found out, you know, it was like at least a month, I think, yeah. or yeah. about a month after we were sick that we found out about all this, and so we never thought that it was it. But no, we we. We just thought it was the regular flu. At least I did. I, I thought it was just the regular flu. And it wasn't until, like you're saying, much later after that, that we started wondering, wait a minute, could it be possible that we had, you know, the virus? Yeah. So, so um, we're, we don't know for sure that we had it because we have to get, um, you know, tested yeah. eventually, just an antibody test. So we want to do that at some point, hopefully, and then we'll know for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, um, but the, the thing that makes me think that we had it was, uh, we saw, I saw some news articles saying that it was in Southern California much earlier than they thought. And we were actually, we were near Yuma, but we were actually camping in California. And what else? 
uh, I think I read too that one of the, the symptoms of it is like a lingering cough, and so right. those two factors made me think that it's just probably reasonably likely that that we did have it. And there was another thing too. There was one day where I was just going about making some shakes for Sharon and I, and oh. all of a sudden I just got really out of breath and just weak and out of breath. That's never happened to me before. Even when I had pneumonia, I don't think that ever happened to me, and I just got. I remember I, I just got so, how would you say it? Um, I just felt like I was gonna pass out at, at one point because I was so out of breath. And then I had to sit, I had to lay down and I had to rest for a while before you know I, I felt better. So that, yeah. that was really weird. And I had to go make the shakes for him because we were both kind of sick at the same time. Yeah. and. I was crying because I was just I was too exhausted to do it, but we needed to have the shakes because we needed to have some kind of nutrition, something to eat. So, so that uh, you know, we'll we'll update you when we find out for sure, and it probably won't be for a while. Mm -hmm. But you know, I think I have you know I'll probably go to a doctor's appointment sometime this summer, and unless we find a place that's offering you know free testing or something. So we just wanted to address that. And also we wanted to, um, you know, I, part of the reason that the videos have been not as frequent is because when we got sick, we got behind and we had a lot of old footage. I have the footage from Yuma and I just didn't know how to go about doing it because you know, with everything that's going on, it just would have been odd to just do our regular filming. And then I, I'm a person who really likes everything in order. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like things in order and I wanted to do everything in order, but that's just not gonna be able to work out. So what we decided to do is um, we're gonna start with our travel back um, as we travel towards Buffalo and we're going to start in quartzite and then work our way back and then after that then we're going to try to work in the older videos that that i still have all the you know from the winter we'll try to work that in somehow and then we'll go on from there and hopefully we can stay on track after that um what else I, there's just i mean i guess you know we could have just skipped all that footage from when we were in Arizona it's probably just oh, about six weeks worth of stuff and you know we don't film all the time but there's some interesting things that happened when we were out there that we want to show you so we're gonna have to find a way to do that yeah yeah I mean I like you like you said there's we had a lot of things that were interesting when we were out there a lot of things happened that were interesting yeah so okay well we hope everyone's doing well and i guess that's about it we'll have to update you on other things as we go along and okay. all right now that's it okay hello henry This is our little audience while we're recording the video. Hello, Shimon. What do you smell? Ale? Ale? Hello, Ale. Ale? Ale. I only have 26 seconds to take a video of this little bitty rabbit. We found him in the yard. He's so cute. We love you, little rabbit. We're going to put him back because I was just mowing the lawn. Okay, bye-bye, little rabbit. We love you.
want to be higher than you. <laughs> he noticed himself shorter than me in the video, so he's actually going to sit up this time. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up below. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.